Hello. <laughs> Somebody's been walking in mud. We've been fortunate enough to spend a great deal of time with the hyenas of Juma, and as a result, things started to get a little bit confusing when we didn't have any names for them. So we started to name them as a way of keeping track of each individual and how they sort of fit into the clan hierarchy as a whole. I opened the Facebook group Hyenas of Juma, Erebus, and Kita Plains because we were spending a lot of time with the hyenas at the den site and I couldn't tell them apart. You know? And then there was a scene where a hyena was being attacked um, by another hyena and I was confused and didn't know where to go to talk about it. So I opened the group with the hopes that other fans and viewers would participate with screenshots and help identify each individual hyena and their dynamics. I think the amazing thing about Safari Live is that we can have that communication with viewers all the way across the globe. And of course, they've got the advantage of being able to sit and compare the spot patterns to the known individuals, and it makes our lives so much easier when we can turn around and ask them, who are we looking at? Which hyena are we seeing? And to just get that interaction, I think it takes it up to a whole new level in a way you wouldn't even be able to imitate on a real live safari drive. Hello, my name is Crystal and I am from California. Since I've started watching Safari Live, the hyenas have quickly become one of my favorite characters. And one of the more satisfying things about getting to know the hyenas we see is being able to identify them individually. When I identify a hyena, I prefer using their spot patterns. Ear notches, scars, blind eyes, they're all really good ID features, especially if they're unique, but I still prefer using their spots. So thank you, Crystal, very much for your update. Corky, you say, is missing the tip of her left ear, which the hyena in the background is, and Madam has got two notches in her left and one in her right. There you can see the two notches in her left ear. Very nice, thank you for that, Crystal. That's As brilliant. for my favorite sightings, though, they will forever be the sightings where we spend the day at the den with all of the little cubs out running around and having a grand time. They are too fun to watch and they always make me smile. I just absolutely love them to death. How lucky are we to be able to watch hyena cubs grow up? Yes, I'm talking about you. It really helps that they just happen to be my favorite predator. That light of curiosity and mischief that just shines out of those eyes. <laughs>